Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I do hope everyone's doing okay. Today's video is all about eyebrows and how to grow them out, and I bet you guys are like, what the hell, your eyebrows are fine, and trust me, they are not. They are messed up, they're getting better, but they were absolutely messed up by my eyebrow lady, and basically, I go to have my eyebrows waxed about every two weeks, and I went this one particular week about a month and a couple of weeks ago, and everything was normal, and um, I've had like two different women do my eyebrows, and one of them wasn't available, so I had the other one, and I I was like, oh, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine because she's done them before and I like them. Anyway, I went in, lay down to have them waxed and I sat up and she was like, are they okay? And I was like, um, they look different, but inside, not like out to her. I was like, yeah, they look okay, like they're fine. And then I got home, I looked at them in a the mirror up close, I tried to like, you know, draw them on and girl, girl, they were effed the fuck up. I could not cope. I was devastated. This one had a big chunk coming out the middle at the front, then this one was more arched, and this one was more like, you know, like this. They were so uneven, patchy, like, oh, I I can't guys. I have been so emotional about it. Sadly, there is no photo of my eyebrows when they were first waxed and messed up because I was too upset to put any cameras near my eyebrows and the night I had them waxed, my boyfriend's family were coming around for tea and I was going to do my makeup and look all cute and I couldn't even do that. My eyebrows were that uneven, I couldn't even do that and I was like, oh my god, this is not happening to me because I had finally like found a shape that I loved. I loved them before they were messed up and it was so like annoying to get to that point and then have it taken away so quick. I was like now I have to go through all that growing out process again because I've done it countless times. This is why I'm doing a video on it because I am an expert on growing eyebrows out. Trust me, um, it is really really something I am not that new to. So yeah, if you guys want to know about growing eyebrows out, techniques, what works, what doesn't, then I guess just stick around and we will dive in and have a talk about eyebrows some more. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you guys my eyebrows through the years to give you guys like an idea of what my eyebrows have been through. I have been super thin, super thick, like medium, normal brows, and then like some horrible, horrendous messes on my head. But I will give you guys like an idea, so I will insert some photos now of my eyebrows, like I said, through the years. If you got through those photos without like, you know, cringing, then I applaud you, girl. I applaud you because I have had some really bad eyebrows in my time and I'm the first one to admit it, like, I don't care. I have had some bad brows, but at the time I loved them and that's all that matters. As long as in the moment you loved them and then realized they weren't, you know, the best thing ever, then that's fine because, you know, style, fashion and, you know, your personality changes over time and if it felt good at the time, then you know what, girl? it was all good, no problems here. Now, the first tip is to get rid of these tweezers. Do not even touch them, do not put them near your eyebrows, don't even have them in your house, like that's a bit extreme, but don't even go near them because the second you start going, oh, I'll just take that one out, that one, then you get carried away and you pluck them all out again and then you're left with like, you know, sparse, bald, horrible brows. <laughs> Once, no joke, no word of a lie, I had my brother take these to his house and like hide them from me because I have had like some really bad like urges to like just go pluck pluck pluck. Now I do advise you to take away the monobrow hairs because you don't want to be walking around with like hairs in the middle here like not attractive, not cute. The sooner you stop using these the better because then your eyebrows will grow much faster so bye bye tweezers, see you later girl. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is Vaseline. Now not this one in particular, maybe if you're putting it on your eyebrows then get the clear one. This one is their rosy lips which which is pink and I wear this at night for bed like to moisturize my lips but I wouldn't put this one on my brows like I said get the clear one in this like you know 
your tin or in the tube, like up to you completely. But Vaseline has worked for some people. For me personally, not so much. I tried this once and I had no results, zero. So you never know, try it out. It's cheap, but it didn't work for me. But there is an option in Vaseline. So give it a shot. Okay, don't even talk about the packaging on this. This is so freaking old, but I am talking about the product and the actual like, you know, thing inside it. This I wouldn't use anymore because I think it's like out of date, but I kept it to show you guys. So I will put the name of the brand on the screen. You can get it from eBay and I've had this now for years. No exaggeration, absolute years. So I used this once when my eyebrows were over plucked and girl, yes. Yes to this castor oil, it was absolutely amazing. My eyebrows were like, pfft, back in no time. So I loved it. And like I said, I will put the name on the screen down there. And this is 100% pure cold pressure oil. <laughs> I thought it was going to say 100% castor oil, but it says like, you know, 100% pure cold pressure oil, which I don't know what that means, but whatever. And this stuff, I just like got like a little spoolie, which I'll talk about in a moment, and like brushed it through at night time, went to bed. And like I said, my eyebrows were phenomenal within like, you know, a couple of weeks time, a month. And yeah, this is a definite go-to when eyebrows are effed up. Now I will talk about coconut oil and I love this stuff, okay? This is very multi-purpose and worth the money because I can use this as like a face scrub. So what I do is I put sugar into it and then I massage it into my face. wash it off and my skin is super soft and like supple and cute. So yes, I bought it for my eyebrows and it worked okay. It was like, you know, doing a good enough job but not anything like revolutionary. So that's why I moved on to other products I will talk about in a moment. But definitely for like skin and moisturizing purposes, yes, God, it is amazing. Now this is like a hard, you know, type of coconut oil and I will show you. You can get this one and one that's like more like an oil. So as you can see, when you put your finger into it, it does kind of like break down and go into like an oily like substance. As you can see, it turns into like an oily substance. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. They both work okay. And then um, yeah, I'm going to mix a lot of products together in a bit anyway, and I will use this in that. But yeah, give it a go. It's worth a shot. It wasn't amazing, but yeah, you can use it on different things. And I would definitely say give it a shot, give it a go, put it on your face, moisturize with it. And I think you guys have heard enough about coconut oil. Let's move on to the next item. The last two oils I have to show you, I will talk about together because I use them together. Now, this one is vitamin E oil and this one is pure vitamin E oil. And then this one is Jamaican black castor oil and this one has mango and lime in it apparently. Currently, and I got these both on eBay. This one was around four to three pounds maybe, and this one was around seven pounds. So this is a close up look at both of them. The Jamaican black castor oil is absolutely amazing and the best thing I have to show you today in this video. Now, this is the most expensive, but definitely worth the money. Now, I wear this to bed. I couldn't think of what I was going to say then. I wear it to bed and then sometimes in the day if I'm not wearing any makeup. And I would say wear a very little amount in the daytime if you're going out because this makes your eyebrows like very yellow and orangey and like greasy, obviously, and that isn't a hot look in, you know, daylight and outside. But if you want to do that, then go for it because I do it. I don't give a shit. Like, I want my eyebrows back sooner than later. So I'm like, you know what? Yes, my eyebrows are oily, greasy, yellow, and like orange. I don't care. I want eyebrows back. So girl, deal with it or walk away. Now, yes, this is very thick and the scent is nothing. It doesn't even smell of anything, which I love. I hate when oils smell like really horrible and like you have to have them on your face. Like, hmm, no. But yeah, this is phenomenal. And I would say get this one. And it says help strengthen hair, which I was like, okay, definitely giving this a go because people were saying on YouTube how amazing it was. And I was like, yeah, but is it? And yes, like I've been trying it now for a good couple of weeks and my eyebrows have had like a really good, like, you know, burst of hair coming out of them. So this is definitely worth every penny I spent on it. And I love it. 
I have noticed a pretty good improvement since using the vitamin E oil as well. So this comes with like a little dropper like this and I put it on the back of my hand, get my spoolie, put it on and then put it in my brows and then put some black Jamaican black castor oil on. Why did I say that? So all messed up. But anyway, I put some Jamaican oil on as well and then I get to bed, go to sleep, wake up and I'm like, oh girl, in the morning, is that a new brow? Is that a new brow hair rocking about there? I think it is and I'm like, yes to these oils, girl. Now, I'm going to show you guys my little, you know, mix I put together. So I'm going to mix all the oils together in a little pot and then show you how I apply it at night. I will obviously, you know, cut to that clip later on this evening when I'm applying it, not now, because I've just done this like full beat, girl. I am not taking this off yet. I am living for this like camo green smoky eye. So we will cut to that in a little while, but I will, you know, show you how to mix it all together and, you know, get a good little, you know, even amount of everything. And yeah, let's get into it because I can talk for all of us here. So let's go. Okay, you will need one of these like little clean containers and this is what it looks like. I got this from Boots with a tester of a number seven product and I cleaned it out and as you can see, this is a really good size. And then you will need a little spoolie like this. This one is one of the disposable ones. You can also use like a mascara wand, which is clean. And then you can apply it with that. Now I will put the oils in here and show you how much of what to use and like whatever like that. So yeah, let's get the oils. First, I will be going in with vitamin E oil and I've took like a full little bit of this like squeezy thing and then I will drop it all in here like that. And then I will go in for a second, you know, pump of this. And then I'll put some more in. Now that seems pretty reasonable for vitamin E oil. Time for the Jamaican black castor oil and I will put some of this into here. Roughly, I'm not sure how much, but I will stop when I feel like I've reached. There we go. I feel like that is a reasonable amount of the Jamaican black castor oil. And now I will add just a little bit of coconut oil. Now I have my coconut oil and I'm going to take like a very small amount on this little spoon, on this big spoon, I mean. So this is about how much I'm going to take, maybe even a little bit less like that. And then I'm just going to plop it into the mixture like that and currently it looks absolutely disgusting as you can see kind of I don't want to spill it but now I'm going to use the bottom of the spoon and mix all of those oils together it kind of looks like honey right now yeah I wouldn't eat that honey if I saw it but yeah it looks like honey so I'm going to mix that up. Now, like I said, I will apply this later on tonight and film it and show you guys my eyebrows without any makeup on. I will also come close to the camera and show you what my eyebrows look like with my eyebrow product on, so yeah. And there you have your little eyebrow mixture and this is a little close up of what it looks like. Yes, I know it looks minging. And then this is my eyebrow with my makeup on and as you can see, all of my regrowth is coming in underneath mainly and like I said, I clean up the middle and then on this brow the same and I'm doing my best to fill them in whilst they're a mess like this and you guys can do the same. Obviously, everyone's like eyebrows are going to look different when they grow out, so that's personal to you how you deal with filling them in in the meantime. I can do a video if you guys would appreciate that. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see how I achieve these eyebrows while they're a mess because it isn't easy, it's an ordeal and we have to fight through it because we want that gorgeous like Instagram brow like I used to have, hashtag crying me out. So yeah, this is our little mixture and I will whack it on in a little while. And there you have it guys, that is the end of the video. I do hope that you found it helpful and you learned something new and got some tips. Now, if you want to try any of these products, then let me know on Instagram how they work out for you. My Instagram is as does makeup and I would love to know what happens when you try them out. So either DM me or, you know, just like get in touch with me anyway through Twitter or Instagram. It doesn't matter. They are both as does makeup and I would be very happy to, you know, know how they worked. So give me a thumbs up, leave me a lovely comment, click the notification bell to see when I upload and of course subscribe to see a lot more content 
from me and yeah guys I guess I'm going to say goodbye now and I will see you all in my next video thank you so much for being here and watching this and spending your time here on my channel it is so so appreciated and I will see you all next time Mwah. bye bye for now <laughs>